that are uh, in the House, like Marjorie Taylor Greene. This woman, Klan mom, is especially upset <laughs> with the three Republican senators who said they'll vote yes on Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson, who's nominated for the Supreme Court. She tweeted, Murkowski, Collins, and Romney are pro-pedophile. They just voted for KBJ. Wow, where is Will Smith when you really need him, huh? <laughs> Besides that being disgusting. Okay, so that's Jimmy Kimmel uh, implying <laughs> jokingly that he wants Marjorie Green to be slapped. We're gonna give our response to the joke in just one moment. Uh, Marjorie herself has responded, and I think she might be overreacting just a bit. She tweeted at ABC, this, th this threat of violence against me by Jimmy Kimmel has been filed with the Capitol Police. So she, she wants the Capitol Police. Who, by the way, a couple January 6 ago, she was fine with you beaten to death with flags and uh, you know fire extinguishers and stuff like that. But now the ones who are still alive, she wants them to investigate Jimmy Kimmel over his joke, which he acknowledges the hilarity of by tweeting, "Officer, I would like to report a joke." Was it is a joke? <laughs> that said, is it acceptable? Should he be canceled? Should he be locked up? What do you think? Oh, it's more than acceptable. I mean, come on. I don't I don't advocate for violence, but the level of violence that most people, especially right wingers, call themselves being cool about, namely like, you know, children being mowed down at freaking school. Mm -hmm. Um they they seem to be like, well, that's just the cost of doing business of our God given Second Amendment right. And to, to pretend that like a joke about a guy who slapped another guy, like it's just silly to me. And and I gotta say on the record, we've we've done enough with Will Smith and the <laughs> smack. And it's just like, guys, like this wasn't World War Three. This was just two Hollywood elites getting after it, just getting a little grabby. That's all. Mm -hmm. Just regular stuff. Boys will be boys, John. Yeah, exactly. No, I think Chris Rock died actually. If that's how I remember it anyway. <laughs> um, but anyway, look, but but now it's this is an interesting moment because I have a question for Marjorie Green. Would you or would you not like Jimmy Kimmel to be canceled? You don't like the speech that he did of the free variety. You don't like his free speech. You want ABC to do something if the Capitol Police do not, or maybe both. Do you want him to lose his job? Do you want him to be thrown out of the building? Do you want him to be cast onto the street penniless because you were offended by the joke that he made? If you do, that's fine. I think you can advocate for whatever you want, but let's be very clear about what you're advocating for. You're very clearly advocating for cancellation and not even just like the normal way that people are canceled, which is a couple of people tweet at them. Or in a couple of extreme cases, people might lose like a, a job opportunity. You want a comedian to be locked up over a thing that he said. So for all of those who claim that the right is pro free speech and the left is censorious, I want you to just try for a nanosecond to integrate this undeniable fact into your worldview. I dare you to, I don't think you're gonna try very hard. Also, she just needs a better social media team. Everybody knows the proper response would have been, you know, blonde conservative woman holding a gun saying, I'd like to see you come try it. Right. Yep. Like that's that's what it would have just been the normal response. Like, I'll shoot you if you try something, because I love guns and God and country and you know, yep. whatever. Uh, you know, pickup trucks, you know the rest, John. Exactly. I'm, yeah, I'm surprised she didn't film a video of her like shooting like a printout of him from you know like right day exactly. or something. But she didn't, exactly. and well, that's good that she didn't for once respond with calls for violence because generally she's there in that direction. Yeah. In the past, she's harassed a school shooting survivor, posted a mock-up pic of her holding a machine gun near members oh, of the of squad's okay. heads. Yeah. She liked a Facebook post about executing Nancy Pelosi. She indicated support for executing multiple prominent Democrats in 2018 and 2019. And she also recently claimed that violence is needed to stand up to trans people. Oh, so man. violence wow. is almost always the answer, except in regards to her. And mm. I will say, uh, look, I think he's he should be allowed to make whatever joke he wants. If you don't like it, you can criticize him. Uh, I wouldn't have made the joke. 
I'm gonna be honest. I I, I don't think like there's already enough joking about violence in politics, and I understand it's about a slap and it's about Will Smith or whatever. Um, but especially about female, like I hate when Marjorie Green implies violence against women of color in politics and all that. So I yeah, I wouldn't do it. Maybe I'm the bad guy, but I don't think he should be locked up over it. I think we can all agree on that. Wow, what a limp wrist liberal. You don't I know. think somebody it's, should get locked got. up over a joke? John, no. where did they find this guy? Oh, <laughs> no, they, they, these people just need to get a grip, get a sense of humor about some things. And, and I think the world would be a much better place for it, to be honest. Yeah. By the way, producer Marissa just uh, put a great point in our, in our shit thing. So in that joke, she complained about the slap thing. She didn't have a problem with being referred to as a clan mom. She was seemingly <laughs> okay with that. Oh, Skip apparently pointed that out. Thank you, Skip. She was like, yeah, now I mean, you know, fair's fair, but the slap is going a bit too far. <laughs> John, anyway. you, you, you're down south is very, very good. I, I, I like it. I like I it a lot. I shouldn't do it. It's wrong with me. Again, I'm the bad guy. I, I'm even bad in critiquing myself, let alone other people. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.